Item number, SCP-703. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-703 is to be contained within a standard containment chamber located in Site-77's Euclid SCP wing. SCP-703 is to be monitored remotely in five-hour shifts, and two armed guards are to be present within the chamber at all times, operating in five-hour shifts. Entry into SCP-703 while it is in an active state is prohibited. When SCP-703 resumes an inactive state, a Class D personnel will be sent in to retrieve the item. Staff assigned to work with SCP-703 are to be rotated every five weeks, and any SCP-703-1 instances produced by SCP-703 related to staff members may be declassified and returned after a six-week observation period. Instances of SCP-703-1 that are not related to staff must be put in permanent storage. Description SCP-703 is a wooden closet, formerly located within a residential home in New Hampshire. SCP-703's interior is painted white and contains a single light bulb. The bulb is incandescent and hangs from the ceiling by a wire. The interior dimensions of SCP-703 are 2.5 by 3 by 1 meter. The exterior has been reconstructed and painted to prevent deterioration. At random intervals, ranging between 2 hours and 14 months, SCP-703 will enter an active state. During the active state, the bulb within SCP-703 will activate. Following that, an instance of SCP-703-1 will appear. SCP-703-1 designates a collection of 452 random objects, retrieved from SCP-703 following the completion of its active state. SCP-703-1 instances appear to have some relation to their environment and persons exposed to it. When SCP-703 was originally recovered by the Foundation, it primarily produced objects that young children would enjoy, such as toys, games, and foods such as candy, fruit snacks, potato chips, and juice. However, after two years in containment, SCP-703 began producing objects of a more scientific nature, such as lab equipment. As time in containment progressed, SCP-703 began producing more specific scientific literature and equipment, eventually producing specialized equipment that could be used to replicate the function of on-site equipment. Following this, SCP-703 was moved to a higher level containment chamber. Following SCP-703's move, SCP-703-1 instances became specifically targeted at Foundation personnel currently assigned to work with SCP-703, with objects such as lost possessions, misplaced documents, and equipment that had the potential to be used in SCP-703's containment procedures. Due to this, SCP-703 has been classified as a sapient non-organic, and containment procedures have been updated to reflect this change in its behavior. After implementing staff rotation, SCP-703 has produced fewer SCP-703-1 instances related to staff currently assigned to it. Addendum On 9-18-2010, several instances of SCP-643 suddenly vanished from their containment chamber. During the ensuing lockdown by security personnel, SCP-703 entered its active phase and produced the missing instances. Due to SCP-643's mind-affecting properties, three researchers were injured and one member of security was killed before they could be recontained. Because of the fact that SCP-643 was being moved to a containment chamber in the same zone as SCP-703, it is theorized that SCP-703 was attempting to assist in this move. Reclassification to Euclid has been granted and SCP-703 has been moved to a more secure area. As of the time of writing, similar incidents have been observed with instances of SCP-649 and SCP-1317. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-702, The Traitor's Residence, right now. Or for the complete course, 
Watch this playlist.